This is fluid mechanics question number 14. Check your understanding from the book Pathfinder. So this question is based on fluid mechanics concepts as well as laws of motion concept. So that is why this is a very ideal question for J. So it is multi-conceptual question. So let's see what is the question. So question is there are, this is the setup, this is the diagram, right? So refer to this diagram when I read through the question. So there are four blocks, A, B, C, D, ice blocks. These are, uh, they have mass 9M, 6M, 3M and M. They are suspended from the ceiling with the help of a system of ideal pulleys and ideal threads. So pulley has pulleys massless, thread is also massless. And three blocks are partially immersed in water. See these three. And maintained at zero degree in a vessel placed on the floor. So this vessel is placed, placed on the floor. And block D is hanging in air. We can see here, this is block D. Amount of heat is supplied to the ice block D. So we are supplying heat to this. When delta M is equal to 2.5 kg of ice, uh, when delta M is equal to 2.5 kg of the ice of the block, D melts. So you are applying uh, heat to D and ice starts melting. When this much amount of ice melts, water level in the vessel changes by 1 centimeter delta H1. And when complete ice melts, then water level further changes by delta H2. Density of ice is given, density of water is given. We have to first find out the area of bottom of the vessel and then tension, initial tension force supporting the block B, right? So let us see. The question was that initially this is an equilibrium. So when it is an equilibrium, I have found calculated the tension. So this is not submerged inside. So Mg and Mg, right? Force balance. Same string, same tension. Here Mg, Mg, here 2 Mg, 2 Mg, and then here 4 Mg, right? So I've used uh, pulley constraint and string constraint. So, and then 9 mg, 6 mg, these are the masses given, 3 mg, and then mg I have already used, right? So now question is when delta m amounts of ice melts. So this is heat is applied to this and delta m amount of ice melts, then what will be new tension? See, here, this is, if delta m melts, that will go to the water, right? So mass of this is now m minus delta m g. So here tension becomes m minus delta m, here it becomes two times of m minus delta m. Here it becomes four times of m minus delta m. Just that now m minus m is replaced by m minus delta m because mass of this reduced by delta m amount. Fine. So first I'm going to calculate and then what is given when this, this much melts, then the liquid level increases by delta H1. Fine. So from that I'm going to calculate the area of this base area of this vessel. So let us see how do we calculate then. So See, if you think then what happens now, the decrease in the tension force is how much here? Initially it was, see in this diagram, initially it was 4 mg. Now it is 4 m minus delta mg, right? So what is the decrease of tension for delta mg? Is that right? And here what is decrease in tension to delta mg, right? Here what is decrease in tension? Again, delta mg, because here tension is, this I have not marked, but this is the same string, here tension is, M minus delta m. So we are calculating the decrease in tension force, right? Because whatever is the decrease in tension force, that will be, now this much tension has disappeared, right? So think what's going to happen. This will still float. So if it has to float, then that much amount of mass, it has to be, or that much amount of force, delta mg, four times delta mg here, and the similarly the values here, that much amount of weight or force should be now supplied by the water in the form of buoyancy force, right? So that should be equal to the weight of the liquid displaced. So that is what I'm going to do here. So this I have written delta M is the amount of, this is the amount delta M here, right? Change in tension here, how much? Two delta M corresponding to this I have written. Here, how much? Four delta M corresponding to this I have written, right? So this is equal to this much weight should be balanced by the water by displacing the water. So this much volume is now displaced, rho w into v, right? Then only it will stay in equilibrium, fine. Because whatever is decreasing here, that has to be supported by something, right? Since tension is decreasing, so then the water will be displaced further. So you can imagine that, right? Imagine that the tension decreases, this goes down. So this displaces some amount of water. So that volume is this. How much is this? Four, six, seven. Seven delta m by delta rho w. This much volume is displaced, right? But now don't forget this. What happens when delta m amount of water melts, ice melts here? 
So that much mass also goes into this, right? So when that much mass goes into the vessel, how much liquid of, how much volume of water you're going to get? Delta M divided by root W, fine? This much extra you're getting. This much from where you're getting? Because this much amount of water flows into the vessel because of the metal, right? Because of the melting. Because where, where can it go? From the diagram, it is clear. It will go here itself. So this is then A delta M by rho W, A delta H1. So from here, we get the area of the vessel, right? So here I assume that this these areas are very small as compared to the vessel area. It's not written in the question, but then according to the answer given, we have to assume that, fine? Okay, so this is the part one. Now we have to calculate the initial tension. So what's initial tension in string V? B, 2 mg, right? So that means we need to calculate the value of M. And what was the information given? Let us see once more. The information was given when complete ice of the block D melts, this is block D, water level further changes by delta H2 amount, right? So we are going to use this further. You know? So after this delta H2. So again, now I am going to calculate that after this, what is the extra volume of water that is going to be displaced? So one thing is clear, when this melts completely, what will be tension here? There will be no tension here. So the entire system will collapse. Right, so this pulley and all will have no significance, then right there, there is no purpose. So these blocks will now go and fall into water, and then they will displace the amount of the liquid which is needed to balance the their weight. So there is no tension here. Fine. So that is the final state. Now let us see again. Same concept I'm going to use. So when D melts completely, tension in the string becomes zero. Now, again, what are the extra mass to be balanced, extra force to be balanced? See here, from this point, right? In question, it is given from this point, delta H2 is shifted. From this point rises delta H2. So what is the tension here? Four times M minus delta M, here two times, here one time. So this much now, this much force is gone, right? It is not supported by the tension. This was forced upward. So then what should happen? Again, water needs to be displaced to create this effect, fine? And I, right now I'm leaving this. This also again, same thing for this explanation is different because this much amount will go into water, right? So first these three, so how much extra you have to balance four times M minus well time, two times M minus well time, M times delta time, and, and this much, this much mass will again fall into water, right? D block. So total it becomes eight times M minus delta time, this much mass, divided by a density. So this much volume you need to displace, water need to displace. So this is equal to A into delta S2. Now A we have already calculated. So this is the volume, volume is equal to, this is the rise in volume. This has to be A into delta S2. By this amount, it will go up, right? Level will go up. So here, after that, just that it is done. So A, this you can substitute here. So when I substitute A value here, I get M as delta M1 plus delta S2 by delta H1. Initial tension in string B was 2 mg. So T is equal to 2 delta M, 1 plus delta H2 by delta H1 and G, right? So that's the answer. I have not calculated the values. You can just calculate the value and match your answer. Fine. So that's it. That was my analysis. If you have liked this analysis, please like this video and please share this channel with your friends also. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. All the best.